हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टुडे आर सब्जेक्ट इज इंग्लिश ग्रामर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ अ इंग्लिश ग्रामर फर्स्ट वील सी राइमिंग वर्ड्स वॉट आर राइमिंग वर्ड्स राइमिंग वर्ड्स आर द वर्ड्स दैट इन with the same sound rhyming words are the words that ends with the same sound means though the spelling is different the sound of the word is same in rhyming words the ending sound is same though the first letters are different the end words are same now we'll see some examples of rhyming words pen men win bin sand band bag rag moat goat dish wish ring sing main pain these are the words that rhyme with each other and they end with the same word though they start with some other word so they are called as rhyming words here are some examples of rhyming words dog log hen pen zip dip sun sun hat cat here you can see that the ending words are same but the first words are different hit lit pit sit bit fit so here the first word is different and the last words are same so the words that rhyme with each other are called as rhyming words now we'll see synonyms what are synonyms synonyms means the words with the same meaning synonyms are words that have the same meaning means meanings are same and words are different for example children we call kids and present we call gift so here meaning of children means kids and meaning of gift means present now we'll see some examples of synonyms start means begin pretty means lovely quick means fast large means enormous scared means frightened tired means sleepy sick means ill that bring means carry woman means lady rich means wealthy and smart means intelligent so these are some of the examples of synonyms now we'll see some more examples of synonyms begin start big large center middle choose select difficult hard then dull gloomy and finish gather collect huge enormous idea thought jump leap kind helpful laugh giggle mistake error neat tidy old ancient paid sheet quiet peaceful rich wealthy rough coarse sad unhappy slim slender trust believe value worth and right record these are some examples of synonyms now we'll see what are antonyms antonyms are the words that have opposite meaning means the words that are opposite to each other are called as antonyms 
such as fast slow small big these are the examples of antonyms now we'll see some examples of antonyms means opposite words loud soft fast slow several few front back last first older younger nervous brave these are some of the examples of antonyms means opposite words now we'll see some more examples of antonyms here you can see after before always never ugly beautiful awake asleep below above these are some more examples of antonyms means opposite to each other the words that are opposite to each other are called antonyms let us see some more examples of antonyms down sunset daily hurry doubt trust dark light deep shallow defeat victory these are all called as antonyms now we'll see what are prepositions prepositions are the words that helps in connecting two nouns they tell us the position of the noun where they are so prepositions are the words that connect to noun and tell the position of the noun now we we'll see the use of preposition with the help of ball and a box as an example in the first picture we can see the ball is inside the box so we can say the ball is in the box then next the ball is on the box then the ball is under the box and next one the ball is next to the box or the ball is behind the box the ball is in front of the box and we can say the ball is between the two boxes now we we'll see these examples with the help of this picture you can see a boy behind the ball a boy is sitting between the ball a boy is sitting in front of the ball a boy is sitting above the ball a boy is sitting under the ball a boy is sitting beside the ball boy is near the ball and the boy is on the ball so we are using the preposition in different sentences in different way as per the position shown in the picture again you can see here the girl is on the ball the girl is between the two balls the girl is sitting beside the ball the girl is sitting under the ball then the girl is jumping above the ball and the girl is sitting in front of the ball the girl is sitting near the ball and the girl is sitting behind the ball so the words on then between beside under in above in front of near behind are all the words that are called as preposition and these words are used to complete the sentence and to show the position of the noun or pronouns so today we learn about the different words that are used as preposition in making sentence